Hello, my name is Terry Scott. Some people call me Ter Scott, and I am your NFIB rep. That's National Federation of Independent Business. Some people, like I said, call me Ter. You can call me anything you want except light for supper. That's an old expression. Well, what do you expect, right? Well, NFIB has helped small business owners keep their doors open for over 75 years, and this year is absolutely no different. Now, I appreciate small business because I've owned several businesses myself, and I know some of the hardships that it takes for a small business owner to make a profit while employing the community and feeding families. So thank you for your selflessness. Thank you so much for that. And you may or may not know this, but 99.9% .9 of the business economy is created by people like you, the small business owner, the single business owner, the contractor, the what we call the mom and pop shops, the, the two people owner, the very, very small businesses on very, very small main streets or bigger main streets, the farmers out there, the truck drivers, all of these people, you are the small business owner that really creates 99.9% .9 of the national gross product it's it's a big big deal so you know what pat yourself on the back because you certainly deserve it and the other thing is you know it's great that what these larger businesses are doing the big box stores the big large businesses in employing tens of hundreds of thousands of people but again it's you the smaller business that are employing your community, your neighbors, and having that flexible schedule and helping these people and really understanding your employees that truly only a smaller business owner can do. And that's why we have these wonderful family businesses. So anyway, again, thank you so much for doing what you do and loving what you do. Now, I'm not here today speaking directly for NFIB. I'm not an NFIB authority or one of the people at the home office in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm actually up here in Wisconsin, but of course I work with, with businesses all over the country. And anyway, that's the fun thing that we can do here today with the internet and all of that. But Anyway, I can't speak necessarily for NFIB, but I am an NFIB rep, and I also speak as a business owner, and as an NFIB rep, I call on 30 to 40 businesses a day and just have a quick conversation with maybe 10 or 12 of them, and in a moment, I'm going to share real business resources that NFIB is offering you as a small business owner, and you can have your questions answered, and you can get clarity at this time, and of course, any time in the future. And that's part of what they do. Now, I'll also share with you some thoughts and resources that I found that can help your business. For instance, if your business needs an infusion of cash, or maybe finding new qualified employees, and also finding hidden tax savings that most professionals don't know about, they won't tell you about, or they don't care about. So anyway, all of the, all of the legislative concerns and the questions that you have about the latest issues recently passed, I'm going to direct you to sources right there from NFIB with their representation in all 50 state capitals and in Washington, D.C. Now, there'll always be concerns as to what the laws are which are being passed that could severely hurt small business. So what I've shared today, I'm sure, will be appropriate and applicable and even very important to you as a small business owner and business owners for generations to come for another 75 years or more. And NFIB, I know, will be there for you. However, much of what you'll see when you click the link, either below or this side or that side or even up there, it's going to be showing you how much that NFIB cares for you because what they're offering you as a small business owner, you don't even need to be a member. That's how much they care about small business. Now, obviously, they require capital, just like your business requires capital. So they require 
to stay alive and to help other businesses and to help your business neighbors and the community as a whole. And so we, I invite you to become an NFIB member. So do that, you know, pick up the phone, use my contact information, and let's start that conversation. Then go ahead, click on the links below. I give you a lot of details at my site, and I want you to have clarity turn, during this time so that you can go forward in building your very best business ever. So again, this is Tara Scott. I'm an NFIB rep, and I'm wishing you the best of success. You can do it. Let's make it together. Bye for now.